What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We have a very exciting video for you guys today. One that I am personally very excited about. One of the most popular questions in the channel that we've addressed with videos in the past. What is the best golf simulator projector? So I've shown several different options, all right, in the GSV Studio. Uh, if you remember the LK953 ST. That was a 4K laser 5000 lumen projector that I installed that really blew me away. 4K resolution, 5000 lumens, very bright. Uh, the only thing that was different was is, is that I couldn't get my 16 by 10 format, that taller image. All right, so they ended up coming out with the LU 935 ST, which was a native 16 by 10 format, 1920 by 1200. Now that's a lot less pixels than the 4K, so I was giving up some, but it did have 5,500 lumens of brightness and the image quality is actually really awesome. It's what you're looking at behind me and it's a very, very impressive projector. But what I found was so many people were wanting to dual purpose their golf simulator. They wanted a 16 by 10 format because it's so much more immersive, um, but at the same time, they wanted to dual purpose for a theater and they want 4K. Um, they just wanted that versatility, you know? So uh, BenQ obviously was listening because what I have here today is the LK 936ST. This is a 4K projector, so 8.3 million pixels HDR, but it has all new capabilities of 16 by 10. Now it's actually WQXGA, which is 2560 by 1600. Now not only can it produce that higher resolution native format in that uh, 16 by 10, but it has 8.3 million pixels from the 4K that it can do that in. Um, it's 5,100 5, lumens, which is incredible, still very bright, laser lit source. I'm gonna do a full unboxing for you guys, full review. We're gonna show you a bunch of different software. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk a lot about the specs and then also what you should be looking for. If you're asking yourself what is the best golf simulator projector, there are a lot of things to consider. So let's start talking about them now. So format is one of the biggest things that we're talking about today. So you have to ask yourself, if you're in a environment like I am, which is only 15 feet wide, I personally believe that the 16 by 10 format, which is that taller image, all right, is much more immersive. Um, if you're running 16 by nine and you want to get this tall of an image, you're gonna need several more feet on each side, all right? Um, and that depends on what kind of, you know, mounting and everything else that you have for your screen. So. The fact that you're able to do this with this projector um, and throw some bean bags down and have a theater at night in 16 by nine, or how about hook up game consoles, all right? Um, the kids are looking to play their Xbox or PlayStation, you can do that. Um, but also short throw is one of the most important things that I've talked about uh, that a lot of people forget when doing a golf simulator uh, and looking at golf simulator projectors. Short throw is so important. You don't want shadows. You don't want to deal with mounting this in the wrong position. Well, this has, and uh, don't hold me to this, I believe it's 0.81 to 0.89 throw ratio. That means that you can mount this at 10 feet away and it gives you a 12 foot wide image. All right, I mean, that's incredible. It puts you basically right below the projector and you know that you're not gonna get any shadows that way when you're addressing the ball um, and it's gonna be out of the way. You can have right and left-handed golfers, um, everything along those lines. It's just going to be much better. So here it is, the all new LK 936 ST, right on the front of it, 4K HDR 8.3 million pixels. Now what's cool about this is I was researching and this is actually in the same chassis as the LU 935 ST, the one that we're using right now. So, you know, very small form factor, which I like. It's not heavy at all. So when you're mounting or, you know, uh, depending on what you're doing with it, uh, very light. Um, let's go over inputs really quick. So HDCP 2.2 has two of those, the HDMI inputs, all right? One of them with an audio return. It has HD base T. If you're looking to do network connectivity, probably a little more advanced, you know, something that a normal golf simulator user is not gonna be using. But it does have SPDIF. So that audio out is capable of Dolby, uh, Dolby 5.1 audio out. 
So if you're gonna be doing a theater and you're looking to have the 5.1 Dolby audio, you could use that to connect to your Dolby surround system. So very, very cool stuff. It has remote in and out display port, which I should point this out. Now this is getting a little advanced, but if you're a user that's trying to go above 60 hertz, which a lot of projectors don't do, okay? That's your refresh rate, all right? Consider it like how smooth the image is, you know, when the ball is flying in the air. Well, if you do wanna use a display port, you can actually do 1920 by 1200, which is 16 by 10, and you can actually do 120 hertz, okay? So that's very interesting. Now, if you're gonna use the higher resolution, which I plan on doing, which is the 2560 by 1600, then it will do the 60 hertz, which I find to be plenty smooth, but I just want you to know that it has those capabilities. I think that's really cool. So 3D VESA in, an RS-232 connection, LAN port, audio out, 3D VESA out, and a 12 volt trigger. So, I mean, more, than the normal capabilities that you're going to need. Um, and also just a good looking projector. You know, I love that. It does have the buttons right on the side if you're not going to be using the, uh, you know, remote. Um, sorry as my screensaver I think is kicking on and uh, my projector is turning off in the background, but that's okay because we're gonna go over a couple specs right now and then we're gonna get this thing mounted and then show you guys what it's all about. So uh, 5100 lumen laser source, all right? So you know it's gonna be plenty bright because everybody seems to have some ambient light, especially when you know, you're doing swing videos and things like that. Um, you know, everyone has some ambient light and I think that's important to understand that 5100 lumens is going to help overcome some ambient light. Very, very bright source. Uh, 20,000 plus hour life because of that laser source which is huge. You're not replacing bulbs often or anything like that. It's 4K UHD, 8.3 million pixels, like we mentioned, 16 by nine aspect ratio, but it's able to adjust to that 16 by 10, four by three, and actually a 2.4 to one, which is interesting, all right? But the facts are is, is that the best of both worlds between the 16 by 10 and the 16 by nine. So you can be having this immersive golf simulator, but then at the same time, you're going to be able to turn it into a 4K theater or game room, which is amazing. Um, their picture mode, uh, I've mentioned this in the past because the LU uh, 935 ST had this, but their golf mode is incredible. They've worked with professionals to customize a picture mode that makes sure that all of the colors and settings are correct for golf simulation software. So that means that a, a blue is not gonna look purple and a green's not gonna look like it's not grass. Um, they've, they've customized that and you can just turn on the golf mode and be good to go. Very cool stuff. Cinema grade 92%, REC 709 color gamut, plus DLP technology, so you know your image is never going to yellow. Um, the short throw lens, I was correct, 0.81 to 0.89, which means that you can do that 10 feet away at 12 feet, and then I think at 12 feet, it's like 14 feet wide. So uh, huge image from a short distance, okay? Just depends on where you're hitting the ball from is probably uh, what you're going to decide on that. 1.1 zoom, so depending on where you're mounting, if you need to do a little bit of a digital zoom, it has that available. Uh, all kinds of adjustments, which are huge. It has 2D lens shift, so when you're mounting on the ceiling, it can do a 60% lens shift to move the image down. And then it also has horizontal plus minus 23%. So that's really nice because I actually don't have mine centered, and I'll show you that maybe in a quick little walkthrough video after we get it mounted. So you can shift that left or right 23%. I think that's really, really nice to have. But the geometric, geometric adjustments on this are incredible. 3D keystone, corner fitting, and digital shrink and shift. That means that depending on if your screen's not perfect or anything else that you need to adjust, I mean, this is going to allow you to do all of those kind of micro adjustments to make sure that this thing is looking great on your screen. So um, other than that, it has the dust, uh, dust proof filter free engine for the laser source. Um, I think it's like IP5, which is really awesome. And uh, I mean, it just packs all of those features that you need in a golf simulator. Um, you know, if, if you're out there shopping for a golf simulator projector, all those different things that we talked about, you know, format and throw ratio and the lumens, how bright it is, um, you know, the, obviously the resolution, not just format, all of these things are gonna come into play that you really need to consider them. And I just think that this is packing so much punch and allowing you to do so many different things. Um, I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna be the best golf simulator projector for 2022, unless somebody can come out with something to compete with all of these features and uh, you know have those different capabilities. Um, I think we're gonna be rolling into 2022 uh, knowing that the LK936 ST is probably gonna to be top of the line. So I'm excited to get it installed. So let's get this thing mounted. I'm gonna take 
take you through a bunch of different software. We'll talk about some more things. I'll show you how far the shadow is when I walk forward. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, welcome back inside the GSV studio. We have the all new LK936 ST installed, as you can see behind me. Now understand, I have this camera focused with a lot of light away from the screen. I'm actually going to take the camera and I'm gonna put it up close to the screen and we will go through some software so you guys can really get that up close image of what it looks like. My first impression so far, you can tell the difference. I mean, hands down, that 4K projector that is now being able to produce this 16 by 10 image, I am seeing a pretty significant step up in that clarity on my screen. Uh, I find it well worth the switch. I'm happy with the results for sure. The other thing that I find impressive is, is remember that the LU935 ST had just a few hundred more lumens, 5,500. This is 51, which is a little more than that LK953. And I'll tell you what, it is plenty bright. If not, it seems as bright as the LU935. Uh, I mean, I am noticing just a crisp, crisp image and you know, plenty bright, very high contrast ratio, which I don't think I mentioned. I believe it's three million to one contrast ratio on this projector. So you're really gonna get the, the vivid kind of pop from all of your images, which is really, really nice. Remember, pr you know, projectors can't produce a black. So the ability for them to have that impactful punch and you know, brightness is just so important. So um, what I'd like to do is, is I would like to show you a quick picture of the installation. I'm gonna kind of step off to the side here. We'll throw a picture up really quick. You'll see where I have it mounted. Basically directly above the golfer is where the front of the lens is. That's what worked out perfect for me because I actually modify my system just a little bit and understand you can do this. So if you like duplicating your monitor, I have a 4K monitor, okay? What I do is, is I duplicate it to my projector, all right? And I set the projectors to 16 by 10. Now that actually technically stretches the image just slightly and I love it. I think that it's the only way to go because I have a touch screen and I like duplicating and I just think it's such an easy way to go. Now, here's what's cool about this projector. I can actually switch it to the 16 by nine 4K if I want to and duplicate that way. Or I can, like I said, I can switch it to 4K for a theater or game mode or anything it may be. So it's just, there's so many options. You'll have to find out what's best for you. Um, but that's kind of how I have it set up right now because I just feel like it works so well. I used some of the corner fitting and all the different keystones and everything to make sure the image was nice and square. I have it filling up my entire screen, which is really nice. Obviously it's super immersive because it's that taller 16 by 10 format. But what I'd like to do now is, is I'd like to grab my camera. I'd like to bring it up close to the screens and I'll take you guys through several different pieces of software so you can actually see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so first thing first, I have the GS Pro Golf Simulator software launched, and this is one of my favorite courses, the Highland course at Primeland, and I actually have that sky set to like a dark mode, which I think is really cool because it gives you an opportunity to show the ability for like the high contrast of all the images. So first thing I wanna do is, is I'm actually gonna step in front of the camera just so you can understand that this is actually the projector. I had to, sh you know, actually talk to a few people about that in one of the videos that I did, they're like, there's no way that's your screen. Well, it is, there's the screen. Um, it just shows you how you know crisp this image is with the new 4K abilities and this higher resolution of 16 by 10 format. So I have it zoomed in just a little bit because obviously my camera is 16 by nine and the screen is 16 by 10, but let's go ahead and do a quick flyover so you guys can actually see some movement and you'll be able to see kind of how smooth everything is on the projector. And that's why I've said before that, you know, the 60 Hertz, in my opinion, is plenty. I understand a lot of the gaming monitors and everything are going to, you know, 120 or higher, but really for golf simulation, I find the 60 Hertz to be plenty. That refresh rate gives you a nice smooth image. All right, so what I'd like to do now is, is I can actually uh, exit out of here. I'll end this round. Um, I'll take you guys out to maybe one more course really quick, and that way you can just kind of see what it looks like, and then we'll jump into some different software. Um, so why don't we jump out to, let's see here. That uh, River Highlands is pretty cool. Um, oh, TPC Summerlin, is, that's, that's a newer course too. Let's go ahead and jump out there. 
and show you guys what that looks like. I mean, obviously a popular course a lot of people know about. Let's jump out and see what that looks like on the GS Pro Golf Simulator software. I am just really happy so far with the LK936 ST. One thing I wanted to point out is that I have uh, this mounted basically, like I said, right above the golfer, and I can step like three feet in front, four feet in front of my hitting position basically, and not even see my head on the screen. And you know, that's where short throw really comes into play. Um, it's so important. So check this out. Look at the bushes, look at the mountains. I mean, look at all that uh, and how crisp everything is. Let's go ahead and just do a quick flyover so you guys can see all of the different, you know, houses and trees and colors, things along those lines, really shows you that its ability to produce those crisp images. I think that when you're talking 8.3 million megapixels on this, you know, uh, you know, projector, that its ability to produce that, it's just really, really stepping up game. Now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. I'm actually gonna launch FSX Play. So this is actually software that is in production right now. They're actually, you know, working on developing this software. I've shown it a little bit in the channel, um, but you know, this is 4K software, brand new software. I want you guys to be able uh, to, you know, see what it looks like. So I actually, uh, I think I've been out to Blue Bayou a couple times. Um, that way everybody could see what it looked like because it was a previous course. Um, obviously you can see these images, these preview images and movies and just how crisp they are. But let's jump out here. I have no device connected, but that's okay. So there we go. And I can actually go up and we can do a quick flyover of this hole. And you'll be able to see just how immersive going through these trees. I mean, look at this. I feel like this is the perfect course to really show you guys the detail. Look at that. Unbelievable. I just think that, look at the fast movement. This is another good opportunity to show you guys fast movement. All right, let's skip a hole really quick. Let's skip a couple actually. Um, we'll do another fly over here. This is just a little fly over kind of around the trees up towards the green. I like all the different, uh, you know, greenery and, and uh, between the trees and everything that it shows on this course. I just think that it shows you kind of that ability, what this projector can really produce. And remember, we're on a camera. I mean, it's not going to be what I'm seeing in person. I mean, what I'm seeing in person, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with. So um, let's go ahead and exit out of here. All right. And what I'd like to do real quick is actually jump out to that Paris driving range which I've showed you guys before, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll show you that really quick. All right, so give me one second to go back to practice. I'm really excited for this software to be fully developed and released. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the videos that I've shown so far, make sure you check those out. Um, you know, they're definitely, you know, really bringing a lot to the table here with an entire new graphics engine. So check this out. We'll just do a quick flyover of the Paris driving range really gets to show you just a lot of object detail. You know, the projector's ability to have the proper color, like I talked about, the golf, you know, mode um, is very important. So you're seeing these true colors. Um, and, you know, obviously, like I mentioned before, when we're talking about a camera, um, you know, you're not probably not gonna see the same vivid colors I'm seeing in person, but I, I think it's going to be a very good representation of, you know, just how clear this really is. So let's jump out of this software. All right, perfect. And then uh, why don't I throw up E6 Connect, obviously another very popular software um, that I've shown a lot in the channel before. Let's go ahead and load E6 Connect up. And I think I showed Pebble Beach in one of the previous videos. So why don't we jump out there and show Pebble Beach? So I'll let this load up really quick, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll just go to guest and we'll go to stroke play, and we'll scroll down to Pebble Beach, and we'll go out to number seven, which I've shown in the past, because it has the ocean, it has everything that you're gonna wanna see. Um, check that out. I mean, I'm just really impressed. It's, it's like I'm looking at the 953, but now I have the 16 by 10 format. 
Um, you know, I think that's what they've really nailed here. Do a quick hole preview just to show you guys how smooth this is. And you know what's cool is, is I'm actually sitting over here with a 4K uh, gaming monitor, you know, super high-end LG gaming monitor. And, you know, I'm able to compare and it's just, it's, it's really, really impressive. The best way to describe it is that it looks like the LK953, but I'm in this new 16 by 10 format that the LK936 ST is bringing to the table. Um, just really, really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna flip back to the normal camera and we'll wrap things up. All right guys, so I hope that little software preview really gives you a good feeling for what this LK936 ST golf simulator projector is bringing to the table. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos in the future. And as always, we have the GSV camera showing the projector screen. So you guys are gonna be able to see a lot more. So stay tuned for that. And you know, I wanna make sure you guys shoot me an email if you're interested in purchasing this projector. My partner has, I think like 20 of them on pre-order. He'll be getting them in. Discounted pricing for my viewers as always. I wanna make sure you guys are getting the best price and i am tell you what if you're looking for the best of both worlds like i said you want a 4k you know high lumen projector for a theater um, but you also want the 16 by 10 format for your golf simulator the lk 936 st is just fitting both of those worlds and you know i just love it also has all the features they were able to accomplish it and not take anything away you know like i said i was using the corner fitting and all the different features that you know really make it you know so easy to install and you know, the throw ratio i'm going to demonstrate that for you really quick look at how close I am. I'm going to kind of like eye level here. I'm, I mean, I'm three feet in front of my hitting area before I see my hand even starting. That's like, that's more than three feet. That's four or five feet almost before my hand even starts. And you can see where it touches my head. It's just touching my head four feet in front of the uh, hitting area. So um, that short throw is obviously really, really important. And, you know, this is able to, you know, bring that to the table. So make sure you guys comment below any questions that you have. I'd love to answer them for you. Um, you know, uh, let me know what projector you, you're using. Uh, you know, let me know if you have any, you know, things that you like or dislike, you know, that you'd like to see. I love discussing that with viewers. Obviously, BenQ North America is listening to the golf simulator community because they came out with something that is now accommodating, you know, both sides, uh, you know, of a golf simulator or ent to entertainment room, which is just so amazing. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more coming soon.